is Devada Lindsner, and I'm doing my project over adaptive cruise control for MENG 4312.062. I'm interested in this project because there's a lot of times that I'm doing long distance driving to Florida or Louisiana and maybe even one day up to Montana. The adaptive cruise control would help me a lot in these drives because when I get distracted, I wouldn't have to worry as much because I could be ensured that I was going to not hit the car in front of me. I'm also interested in this project because I'm interested in learning about feedback control systems and, um, and one day I would be really interested in getting a fully automated vehicle. So. Um, this is like a step in that direction. The problem that I see today is that the adaptive cruise control is fairly new and so there's a lot of safety recalls and, um, and I believe that I can make that better through the control system. I also want to avoid manual driving and assist the operator when distracted and meet desired speeds. My goal is to replace the human operator, control output, output speeds, and find improvements to current systems. And previously, there is already the cruise control that everybody is used to, and there is actually the adaptive cru cruise control, but like I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of recalls at this time. Um, and then there's also backup sens sensors, blind spot sensors, and foundation to automation systems. Uh, this is just kind of a diagram of the car control system, which I'll be diving into in uh, the later part of my project later on in the year. And here's a system diagram, kind of what I'm planning on starting out um, with whenever I start looking into the control systems. The design criteria for this project is outlined um, in the project uh, requirements and you can see on this screen what those are. The equations and software are also as you can see on the screen for velocity, acceleration, and etc. The software that will be used is the Simulink and MATLAB. Expected results <coughs> are uh, when given a force of 500 newtons that the car will reach maximum velocity. Uh, the design criteria that I'm going to use was the criteria suggested through the project was a rise time of less than five seconds, overshoot of less than 5%, and a steady state error of 2%. Uh, thank you for listening to my report and I hope to answer all questions by the end of the semester. Thanks.